Hello, trading has closed on the 4th of November, 2024. We always do our disclaimer, go over our calls, make our predictions. It's my trading plan for tomorrow, which is November 5th, 2024. I won't be doing any trading Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm busy all day, and Thursday is FOMC day. I rarely trade on those days, so be aware if you do trade based on this, do so at your own risk, and be aware I'm not risking my own money on any of these calls. Today's pattern we said had the early high, that's this tomorrow, also has the early high. We had a target 57.40.11, target hit resistance over the target. We said that um, we didn't have to go any higher than this. Nothing stopped us from going even 100 points higher without changing the general idea that at some point this low would fall. Well, obviously we didn't go 100 points higher. We went up to the minimum. That low fell, so that's been satisfied already. We'll cross this target off the list, 57.40.11. We have a new target for tomorrow, 57.30.74. Um, it actually has until early Thursday to print within its preferred time frame. And if we don't gap down smartly, that's my call. We got an ultimate sell signal in the morning. It didn't tell us the next move, but ultimately we did drop. EJT said it's not for keeps, gives us the target. We got the buy signal in the afternoon, but we printed the target immediately. When you print the target, that's resistance. So even though there's a buy signal, all you know is you're at resistance. We know if there's an immediate drop, it won't stick, but if the drop comes late enough, it certainly doesn't have to retrace. Well, this pattern usually has the early high and the late low. The late low tends to be near the low of the day. Here we have a drop all day long and the close, this dotted line, couldn't take out any of these prior lows. So for right now, that drop didn't accomplish anything. If it's just backing and filling within the range with a break that didn't stick. So if we don't gap down smartly, we should trade higher. Here's our target, but none of that means we have to close up. Well, Tuesday's pattern has the early high, regardless of where we open. There's a higher MJT target, unless we gap down smartly, the rules say it prints. Today's long, today's day long decline couldn't manage a close over intraday lows, and if that's maintained at the open, that's a bullish pattern, should lead to higher prices intraday. None of this guarantees a higher close, and it can't be good that breadth continues to deteriorate. And as of right now, I don't have a clear account which says this correction's over. So, if we don't gap down smartly at the open, I think we should trade higher. Here's my target. I'm just not certain that we're done dropping. At some point, of course, I think we're going to new all-time highs. But I'm not convinced that even if we get the a predicted rally tomorrow that we're not going to investigate lower prices at some time. And that's today's call.